I needed to go out and run an errand this morning, and the errand is a little bit farther away. I actually have to travel a little bit to get there. So I, I took my car out, and the car only has 60% of the battery on it. So, you know, there's a moment of momentary moment of range anxiety that I came up with, but I don't think it's going to be an issue. I know that it should take. I looked at uh, the route planners, and it should take about 30% to go down and back. So I should be fine. But it's that moment of hesitation that I had where I'm thinking to myself, is it going to work out? No range anxiety, really, but just a moment of hesitation. So we'll see how it goes. Hi, it's Neil. You enjoy our real music variety on your radio. Now, get it on your smartphone with the free radio.com app. My errands are done. I finished up what I needed to do, so now I'm going to head home. Now, I actually had to stop a couple more places along the way, so I'm down to about 38% of my battery. So it's something to consider as I'm driving home, but I don't think it's going to be a big deal. You know, I only used, you know, less than 20% of it when I was on my way down here, so it should be fine on the way home. But it's that moment of hesitation, and I know that it will point me to a supercharger, and I know where there, happen to know where there are some along the way, so I'll be fine either way. But it's just that moment of hesitation as you're going, you're like, you know, how much do I actually need? I knew I needed to go out, so I charged it a little bit just to make sure I got to at least 60% before I left, because I was kind of going between that 80% to 20% range in my battery, so I hadn't charged it in a while. And I decided since I needed to run this errand, I should put a little more charge in it. So that's what I did. And you know, now it's now I'm ready to, uh, to head home and I'll charge it up fully when I get home. But it's that funny moment when I was just running my charge back and forth because I'm not driving the car very much. So I just kind of let it go back and forth and back and forth, didn't really worry about it, never thought about it. And then when I had to run an errand where I was gonna go a little further, I had to think about it. So really, I have no anxiety about it at all whatsoever because I know that there are some superchargers on the way home if I need them. So I'll be fine. You know, that's the funny thing. Now that I've owned the car for just over a year, I have these moments where I think to myself, hey, I know what I'm doing and I understand how the car works now. And I'm comfortable with the, the battery life and the battery health and I have no issues with it. So I really don't worry about it unless I know I'm going to be driving around a lot dur during the day, especially on a nice hot day. Today happens to be fairly warm. It says it's 91 outside. I don't actually think it's that warm, but in the direct sunlight, perhaps it is. So the, the uh, fans have to be on when the car is parked. So it's, uh, you know, it's one of those things where you have to consider what is your battery life going to look like? You have to really make sure that you understand it so you don't make the mistake of letting your battery run down uh, unintentionally. So that's what happens. Now I'm going to head home. Should be no issues. Everything's I'm cool. I'm down by the University of Miami campus. Um, I should get home with about 20%, so it should take about 17% to get home. And that's fine. I'm totally okay with that um, as far as that goes. So we'll get home and everything will be good. And we're back. I made it back home. I've got 17% on the battery, plenty. Um, I never felt threatened about it. I actually got caught in traffic a little bit, so it took a little longer to get home. So I used a little more battery and stop and go traffic. Don't know where that stop and go traffic came from exactly, but it's all good. So it all worked out just fine. Um, and uh, you know, everything was good. So this was a trip that uh, totally unplanned, never really considered what, going anywhere. It just sort of worked out that, uh, that I needed to go uh, and take care of an errand. So I did, no problem. And, um, you know, I was just reminded as I was coming home, I passed a polling place and I would just like to remind everyone out there, get out there and vote. If you don't think your vote counts, you're absolutely wrong. Get out there and vote. There's nothing greater you can do for democracy. Uh, I'll just grab the charger. I've got it hanging here, just here, like this. And give the little button, button a magic press and that opens the door and then in it goes. And I can see that I've got uh, oh, four hours and five minutes to go to be fully charged. That's fine, four hours and 10 minutes, whatever it is. So I stepped out into the garage and I heard the uh, cooling fans running for the car. And I just thought it was kind of interesting because it's, they're really running hard at the moment. It's not that warm in the garage. I'm actually kind of comfortable in here, but because the car had been driven for a period of time, you can actually hear the fans running as the uh, car is running through, uh, adding power to it. You can actually hear it. Let's see if you can hear it better up in here. Up in here, maybe. Pretty remarkable when you think about it. And, uh, that's part of the 
way that the car works is that it's got this up in the chip here. Um, that's the way the car works. It has to cool the battery as it's, as it's going through its process. So it's charging it and it's cooling it. It's actually kind of neat. I found that kind of interesting. 